Oh, okay. I'm back, as I always am. Didn't really go anywhere. Yeah, I did. I went some places. It's a brand new day. Brand new titties to look at. I mean, um, a young lady to play with. That still sounds dirty. A young lady to play with, Becky. And I'm guessing she's some sort of cheerleader now. Um, so I guess she's good now. If, I don't know. Everybody in this game, their alter ego is like a mental breakdown. So let's find out what's up with her. My teacher convinced me to return to school. Okay. Now I'm really into it. Busy with both studying and wrestling. I'm in the prime of my youth. Oh, and to add another extracurricular to my record, I joined the yeah, cheerleading that, that squad. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. This outfit is ridiculous, but I suppose it is what it is. Yeah. You didn't have to, you know... I've turned over a new leaf. With this wear nothing but leaf, like a skirt and pants. It's time to give the beat down. Psych! Anyway, what did she just I'm say? going to make Psych! the best times of my life. And I'm gonna make you sweat. Yeah, okay. All right, so is this like, you know, the other alter egos where it's a quick battle, or is this like a full fleshed out story of some sort? Wow, I never seen this. Oh my goodness, this is so stupid. <laughs> Oh, she's a cheerleader. She a very, very nasty. She a very nasty girl. Yes. Oh. Wow. <laughs> yeah, they launched a shorty in the air. She was like 70 feet in the air, man. <laughs> wow that I actually like that song <laughs> oh man it's so stupid I love it yeah so um yeah I'm a little stumped here with that. Like, I don't know what to really say about that. You know, I mean, they were launching her like a hundred feet in the air. You notice how every time I say it, it gets a little bit higher. First, I was like, "Yeah, it's 70 feet." I'm like, "This is about 200 feet in the air." They launching her. I ain't never seen that before in my life. Oh man. I'm, I'm like, I wonder if it's, I'll figure out probably after I, you know, beat her, if it's a full fleshed out story. It shouldn't be, right? I mean, come on. But that crap is funny. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I've seen some ridiculousness in my days, but that was the ridiculousnessnessness of all the ridiculousnessnessnessnessnessnessnessnessnessnessnessnessnessnessnessnessnessnessnessnessnessnessnessnessnessnessnessnessnessnessnessnessnessnessnessnessnessnessnessnessnessnessnessnessnessnessnessn
Oh, you like little schoolgirls? Okay, good. We'll give you little schoolgirls. Like little schoolboys? Fine! You know? Seriously, you like sweets? Okay, and schoolgirls? You know, hostess bar. Well, you drink tea with a person. That's like that's that's some funny stuff. <laughs> a hostess restaurant where you just you eat and drink with the person. That's kind of funny. Like, how desperate and lonely you gotta be. I mean, they should do that in America and in Europe and places. I, I don't know if they have. You know, I mean, I'm I'm in New York City, so. You know, I'm pretty much primed to see anything when it comes out. You know, and I haven't seen it, so yeah, she's really in that on first. But I haven't seen one, so I'm like, I don't know. I don't. I don't think they're allowed here in, in, in you know New York. You know, I think the strip clubs took over that. So I don't know what's worse: eating with somebody, or like having a woman like put her punani all over you. You know what I'm saying? Rub it all on you and. I don't know. <laughs> so I really can't say who's really the worst offenders. America or or Japan, you know, Tokyo or New York. I, I can't say. They kind of neck and neck when it comes to, you know, weird proclivities, man. Seriously. Hey, you know, we into some stuff here. Seriously, so that being said, let's finish up. I feel like I've been fighting this forever. It's only been almost four minutes, just about. Hit her! Yeah, that's it. Well, dude, I doubt it. I never ever pinned anybody like that. You know, and I've never, you know, told friends that I've had this game when I first got it, you know, it's, you know, in my teens. So it's like one of those things that is super embarrassing and you get made fun of. Come on, get oh, you buying that? Oh, you just, oh, you touch your meat, you jerk off. Da, da, da. On, Which is kind of funny, like, I look at it now, like, we used to get made fun of for masturbating. If you even found out someone you knew was masturbating, you got made fun of. But this generation, that's all you that's all y'all guys do is masturbate and brag about it. I even heard y'all have masturbation circles. And I heard that like, oh, we just all sit in a circle with our backs turned to each other. We just masturbate. <laughs> I'm like, yo, dude. It was only 10 years, right? No. Okay, I'm 32. 10 years ago, I've been 22. So about what, 12 years? 12, 13 years ago, I was 18, you know. That was considered a felony, like, you lost a friend if you found out you were masturbating, you know, if you found out you were masturbating. You know, so, man, the world has changed, it's scary. It's kind of glad I'm not a teenager. Another great match. Yeah, it's just yeah, it's just the the run of the mill. I thought it was a full fleshed out story, which is pretty good because now I'm just like I kind of just want to you know I had my you know fair share of the cringe inducing story that made your nards twist up in to like bow ties. You know, I just want to cruise through the game now. Oh, oh, guess we both subscribe to the same dojo, same principles and philosophies on kicking. You no, know, seriously, I'm hoping that it don't get no worse than that intro, man. I thought I was ready for everything, man. I was, okay, I seen some stupid intros that made me, I don't think I played as Becky. And if I did, I probably just skipped it. And I was like, eh, I don't care. I vaguely remember. I thought I was ready, man, 
And I'm like, okay, I'm not ready for that, man. I wasn't ready for the cheerleaders throwing her about 300 feet in the air. See, it went up again. It's a little higher now. Oh, man. That's how you make that on. Let's see if I can kind of breeze through fast and get some humiliations going. The outside of the, the stereotypical, you know, American Western eyes, I can't say American eyes. Western eyes view they gave her. I think she's the only one who kinda didn't completely lose it, Becky. You know, she kinda didn't lose it. Everyone else kind of lost it, had dream, dreams of, of grandeur, and so I think she kind of is okay, like, hey, I'm back in school, yeah, Fight. I'm studying, and I became a cheerleader, and I like apple pie, and I like corn-fed white boys, and pickup trucks, no, <laughs> I'm just being really stupid, <laughs> but... Um, uh, what was I talking about again? Side projects? No. Um, see, that's, that's my go-to line. I forget what I'm going. Yeah, yeah, okay. I remember, like I was saying before, that's my go-to line. You know, if I forget what I'm saying. I just, talk, I just say, like, was I talking about side pockets? You know, but I was saying about, I think she's the only person who's kind of slightly more equalized than everybody else. Everyone is either too good and they're into themselves or they're too bad and they're into themselves so yeah! i think becky i think she she has a hope of being a little you know acclimating into society just a little bit more than these other crazy chicks and these great these chicks are crazy you know okay how a chick look if you're crazy i don't never do it please bad moose be gone later bye felicia you know <laughs> Seriously, this one became Noble Rose and ridding the world of evil. Oh, shoot. And the other one's like, oh, I'm the Killer Khan and I have an ancient dildo and I'm gonna take over the world on my horse. Oh, and the other one, oh, I'm Queen Cobra. You know, everybody's a little bit, you know, maladjusted. So, I, you know, I can't complain about Becky and being tossed 600 feet in the air. You know, I mean, she got a lot more going for her than everybody else right now. Let me, I can try to finish her, but her, you know, her finisher is an arm technique, which I've been not working the arm like that, so. Okay, yay! Hope that gets the humiliation. I'll just do something from behind and I should really get it up. There you go. She's humiliated. No, she's not humiliated yet. Oh. Yes. Shoot him. Shoot him. Space Channel 5 reference. Alright, let's see what this uh, humiliation looks like. I don't want to humiliate you, so I'm going to... I don't know what she would give her. I'm gonna give you a a, a, a heart bracelet. And you're just gonna leave the ring. It's another arm. Oh my goodness. That leg is way up there, man. That. That leg was super high up there. Oh, I can do it again. Say hentai much? Like, okay, she's good. Bam! Stick that leg up. Mm. Why she didn't rub her tits? Come on. That was that that was so hentai right there, man. Ah, another great match. And I don't know. Maybe she she still got some issues if she's doing that type of move. You know, lifting another chick's leg up. <laughs> oh, man. Alright. A mad mud. Okay. 
a mad mud match. What's the purpose of mud? Like, I always look. Even as a kid, I used to look at that. While the other kids were intrigued, if a movie had that, you know. But me, I'm just like, just nasty. They're rolling around in dirt. Freaking cyst all in their eyes because you know your eyes are kind of like an open orifice. You know, I mean, come on. You freaking get a staph infection. You know? A magic staff would be infecting you. <laughs> On the real. And I could make that better. A staff infection. Let me think of something. A staff company. Yeah. You're infected by millions of people? No. I can make this better. Wait, just give me a minute. Staff infection. Okay, I changed my mind. Uh, my, my brain's on airplane right now. Brain is on airplane. How does her bar higher than me and she hasn't really done any moves like that? And, you know, her bar is higher than my bar. You know? Serious. Just jumping and all that. Okay. Oh, man. Yeah, that's it. Two shots to the dome. I hear birds. Wait a sec. Is that around me? Oh, that's me out. I'm like, I I'm hearing birds. I'm like, this game doesn't have birds. It's a beach. And if they would have birds, it would be seagulls or something. Oh, yeah, I just threw myself in the mud. Yeah, I did it again. It's funny. It never gets on their face, though. The whole face would be submerged in the water. I mean, the mud. Look, see? Face is fine. Remember who said mud is sexy? Yo, mud ain't sexy. Mud is dirty. It's childish. You know, I used to make freaking mud creme brulee. You know, come on. I feel like I'm talking a lot. I probably am, I don't know. Well, let's just finish this up and I'll try to keep my mouth shut a little bit. Oh man, I just wanna finish this game. I mean, it's not like I'm tired of it or anything. I just, I just wanna finish it. No. Ah, oh, I love that punch. It's like stop it, stop. Not punch, slap. It's just like stop. It's it's, it's a shoot, I think. Oh, come on. Dad, twice? Okay. Up oh, got her somehow. about to do, man. I was going to say, that would be nice if I could win just like that. Alright. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Seriously, I don't know how she's... I know she's stronger. Watch her hit her finisher. I ain't going to lie. Like, man. I'm doing all of these moves, and she's no, no, like, she get her finisher out. I'm done. Ah. Oh. Gotta back on. I'm scared. I'm scared. Yes. I was a little nervous there. Not good. Let's let her go. Out of pin her. Why she not humiliated? This should definitely humiliate her. Good. Yes. 
So you, you all kind of know what I'm going to do to her. I'm going to do very bad things. But she's trying to run away from me. Oh crap. He's trying to get her to submit. Punish her. Right. Oh, I'm shit, you cry.